Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Ultimate Apocalypse cast this side of East Yorkshire. And today I've got a 2 vs 2 vs 2 vs 2 on Moon of Doom. Playing on Team 1 as the Space Marines, we've got the Blast Furnace and his teammate Matt10114 as the Chaos Demons. On Team 2, we've got a Flipping Nerm as the Imperial Guard and we've got Demi as the Chaos Demons. On Team 3, we've got Tiger Shark as the Imperial Guard and Sproikin in the Koiken also as the Imperial Guard. And then we've got Warmall as the Tau and we've got Stranger as the Orcs. So I hope you like bananas, because we're about to go bananas on the moon. Ha <laughs> ha. That's, that's an old school Newgrounds reference for all you cool kids out there. But it's a pretty bonkers map. In the sense, we've got a bunch of slags. Around those slags, we have got some critical locations. Around the critical locations, we've got a bunch of relics. And everyone has got four. Is it four? Or three? Three or four? Nah, it's, it's just... Some's got four. Some's got three. What's your fourth one? Oh, your fourth one's here. Just hidden amongst the, the, the craters of the moon so yeah pretty bonkers map pretty bonkers setup we've already got some argy bargy over on this side the blast furnace knowing strangers in the corner it's going to go over and see if they can crump them good but yeah it's probably the most ultimate apocalypse maps you could possibly ever think of just way too many resources on the map so good economies on the income although i'm not not, not tricky on this on the texture of the, of the floor makes it hard to see things but that's fine because i mean the model model quality is okay I've, I've attempted to put everything on medium, because I know that things... I haven't seen the match all the way through, but I've been told it's quite bonkers. So I've preempted. I don't want to reload games, because Christ, I don't want to do that. But yeah, Orcs first Space Marines on this side. We do also have some Imperial Guardsmen Riders going up against these Fire Warriors. No breaches at the moment for Walmart. But he is going to get some Pathfinders over on this side, as well as a bunch of stealth swoops to come in and show these guys the business. And one solo Rider squad ain't going to do much against Tau, but they're at least causing some argy bargy, preventing them from capturing all their strategic points straight off the bat. Going to see some plasma generators up over on that side. In the middle, some guardsmen riders moving over onto this side. Going to see if they can also support their allies, I imagine. It's going to be hard, I'll be honest, boys and girls, in the early stages of this game to capture all the excitement and the drama, purely because oh, well, there's, there's four teams of two and they're all blooming next to each other. So, like, you know, it's going to be... It's going to be who can kill their neighbours the quickest and establish some economic dominance. Fury's over here being chased away by the fully qualified guardsmen. There's some blue horrors and a demon lord coming over. Stranger being pressured quite early in the game, but he's got his grots out to repair stuff. Upgrading his listing posts. The slugger boys with five burners already ready to burn those demons when they come anywhere nearby. And the Grot's just running away. Guardsmen Riders haven't done much. But like I said, just just, just a cursory confusing force. Also, double Commissars. That's an interesting, I mean, harassment force. Commissars cannot be attached to the Riders as, well, obviously they've got their horses. Can't support a troop if you don't have your own horse. That's the rules. That's horse guards for you. Got demons capturing the... Critical locations in the middle. It's going to be confusing that there's a couple of demons. There's Matt one 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 that bloody one zero one one four. I'm not a part of the Mechanicus. I can't read binary. But Garsman, Garsman, red ones versus grey ones. Tiger Shark going to be stoic in ignoring these guys. But I mean, two squads, one. In fact, the, the birth conscripts. Are the birth conscripts? Oh, they're, they're all one squad, but for some reason they're separated. That's not keeping to the rules of of tabletop. You need to keep your Models in unit of cohesion, at least two inches between them. Otherwise, by the end of your turn, you lose half the models. I know how tabletop works. Got some weapon servitors over here. Good for murdering lightly armored troops. Also, the Guardsman Riders coming in. In fact, hey, we've got Koikens coming over as well. To show these demons who's boss. The big... Flare of fire coming from that demon lord. God, those guys a bit of issues. These guys are going to run away before any more badness happens to them. Going to see Infernal Lab already been popped up by Matt. I'm going to go for double. Ooh, that's, that's quite brave. A lot of economy being put into those, but that's fine because they also build, so you don't really need to keep a builder over there. And demons do massively benefit from having those. Well, I mean, of course, all factions benefit from having those slide deposits. But it's going to be hard to... 
you know, it's, it's not going to be like, say, for example, these, where you can capture one and deposing people on the other side of the map can capture this one. Whoever's got one on this side, you're not exactly going to have multiple different teams in the centre here. It's going to be very much a battle of who can control the centre. Oh, in the Blast Fellas throw down a bottle to it down here. Keeping the light shaft of the opposing factions away. I mean, realistically, I mean, what, Imperial Guard over here, Tower over here. No one's really got... Bloody hell, that frame rate's not good, is it? But yeah, no one's got a line shove of heavy infantry apart from the Space Marines. So, Bolters and Weapon Servitors will be able to keep them back. So, Team 1 really cementing their hold on the centre here. Those scouts been murdered. Turned into shish kebabs. Spoken already saying, bloody hell, they've already got their fermers. That's not good. Our advanced fair, um, infantry command being placed here. Got town moving over onto this side. But probably attacking other people and, and next door neighbours. Now at this point is just trying to prevent these guys from keeping their thermal plasma generators up for as long as they can. The moment that they can take them down, that's that, that's that's the main state. But Warmel coming over with his fire warriors. Hopefully working together with the orcs. That's what we really want. Xenos coming together for the greater good. Of the heavy weapons teams and plasma guns. All these Imperial Guardsmen already. Trying to take on that Fairway Plasma Generator, but we'll take them a while. Thankfully, though, that Heavy Weapons team out DPSs the Weapon Servitors. So they are going to run away and turn their attention to these conscripts. We've got no chance in hell in staying up against this, even with their impressive reinforcement rate. There was, I mean, they're not being reinforced. There's only four blue money, but... Oh, never mind, they're just out of range, so maybe they could forget about them. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. They're dead, they're gonna die. Sad time for everyone. Time over here, though, they've got the range. And the scouts ain't gonna do that much. Quadruple Infernal Labs, lots of common place here. So, so Matt, where, where, are you? Where, where, where are you, first of all, Matt? So you're not, not getting much in the way of production. You're just focusing on taking up as quickly as possible. And fair play to you, man. Fair play. Do have a Herald of Nurgle. Going to shake these fire warriors away. Well, actually, I said that the plasma guns won't work, but I suppose if you just get enough auto cannons, you'll eventually just be able to crack your way through the building armor. So, one thermal plasma generator for blast furnace has been taken down. Another one soon to follow. These turrets aren't going to be doing that much unless these guys come a little bit closer. Hell of Nagel trying to crack through listing post. Fire Warriors and Pathfinders aren't doing an incredible amount of damage to these guys, to be honest. Hell of Nurgle, lots of health, very tanky. Good health regen as well. Going to see a Hellfire Dreadnought striding over like he owns the place. Trying to keep that Fairmore Plasma Generator alive. But does not look like he'll be able to keep it up, sadly. And these guys clearly don't have any anti-vehicle stuff on the go. Got some tech priests moving forward. Imagine turrets of the missile launcher variety would be ideal in this situation now that the dreadnoughts are coming out. And dreadnoughts are quite cheap in all fairness. So may as well bring them out en masse. But everyone else, I imagine, is just building up their armies. I mean, we've, we've got these guys. We've, we've got demons from that trying to take care of Warmal here. For all, if the Fire Warrior mass gets too big... It's quite difficult to take them on. Especially with your demons, you're, you're massively outranged all the time. Can't remember that assault tank Cronus Patton coming over here. A flipping gnome holding on to his relic for dear life. Scouts over here, they've, they've taken a detour. That's not what they wanted. The Dreadnoughts, three lads standing firm, killing a lot of these heavy weapons teams. Yeah, the auto cannon, not too bad against lightly armoured vehicles or buildings, but against armoured vehicles like Dreadnoughts, absolutely nothing on them. Especially when we've got Tech Marine on the backside, fixing them up good and proper as they go. We have one missile turret over here. A couple of Commissars just standing by. We've also got one Minister and Priest. Kind of like a Commander Squad, but more psychic, I imagine. Going to go and replace those Fairmore Plus Generators. Also going to see a greater Demon Portal. Smart Bang next to the Blooming Ramstein concert that's going on here. 
I mean, the Tower of Menace to beat back the demons. They've got a broadside battle suit ready. I mean, it's a, it's a Tower and the Orcs. It's Tower and Orcs. What, what, Stranger, what are you doing at the moment? Are you just... Oh, there's so much more! Oh, I thought the map was just basically here. But no, the map goes outwards. Core blimey, just when you think you know a guy, there is so much more economy to be had on the outskirts. That's... That's just big. That's a big map right there. And nice and flat too, so like, halving won't be too much of an issue. Got Blood Crush coming out. Stabbing some Chimeras. I do quite like what Matt's doing. He's not going for like a mass of demons at the moment. He's focusing exclusively on the big and the bads. Going to go over here. Special weapons team are armed with... What are you armed with? Some Melter Guns. So that Blood Crusher is going to struggle. And the Demon Lord as well actually overextending sadly. Has been done, did, gotten. So Tiger Shot really showing the defensive nature of the Imperial Guard. Bunch of tanks, bunch of boys. Lots of supporting emplacements as well. But their assaulting nature, not quite not quite what you want. We've got lots of turrets being built up over here. Blood Crusher has been repaired. Oh, that's a fresh one, I'm not sure. But Great Demon Paul looking for that Desecrate of Nurgle. We're going, going to go for double Desecrators. I've also got less Demon Paul as well. For that quick reinforcement of the centre. And my goodness, what, what what's going on here? All this green stuff. That is... is what is it? What, 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 is, what is all this green stuff? Oh, that's tank traps from Stranger. Just to... I don't know, be a nuisance to prevent... Oh, I see. It's to prevent any, like, quick vehicle raids on his secret bases around the backside. He's playing a long game. If he can't capture the centre, fine. Because, I mean, the Orcs, they can build their... Oh, their big factories or whatever. Can't remember what they're called, but you know what I mean. Well, I'll show them later, because Stranger will build them, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, but if you can't capture the centre, may as well build your own economy up north or south, or wherever you are. It takes a lot longer, but with all this Archibaldi going on in the middle, let them fight. As the meme said. I know my memes. I've seen a meme once, twice in my life. That's great of Nurgle. Quite a beast. Lots of health. Likes in the DPS department compared to the others, but... I mean, he's doing a job, isn't he? Just giving everyone a big... Smelly hug. Mr. Stormpriest still got no friends. He needs no friends. Strong, independent man who needs no man. A desecrator just desecrates everything in sight. Got some pink horrors and blue horrors. The whole rainbow coming forth. Infantry command also going to struggle to stay alive here. Imperial Guard being pushed back, and now all the slide deposits, more or less, barring one, have been taken over. Going to see some defensive emplacements over on this side from the demon side of things as well. Awesome Stern Guard veterans. So the wombo combo of big demon stuff compared with the vehicular might and elite units of the Space Marines. Wait, wait, that's not how you work, heavy weapons team. You're not meant to be mobile. Oh, blimey. Spiken and Tiger Shark breaking the rules, man. They're just finding a new meta. Clearly the mobile heavy weapons team. That's that's the real meta in this game, isn't it? <laughs> Weapon servitors, they're going to come over for a big hello. We also have... What are you? You are the blooming Hellspawn Madufa. No, not Hellspawn. Is that what you call it? Hellspawn? Let me click on you, man. Hellspawn. I knew it was called Hellspawn. Absolutely. But lots of lasagna on the floor here. And everything's relatively calm. What's going on with the rest of the map? We've got big artillery coming over towards the town. We have got demons just chilling out over here. They're just building up their stuff. Like we say, if, if all the Arjibarge is happening in the middle, let them fight. Just build up your own stuff. And hopefully maybe give someone a big backstabbing. We'll look over here for a flipping gnome. Not going to be around for much longer. Not when you've got three Desecrators of Nurgle coming in. and They're just, just quite hyper-aggressive, aren't they? I don't know if I've got the same attack animations as the Defiler from Vanilla, but... Looks a lot more aggressive. Got demons coming over to the tower, but the tower have got their Christ battle suits. As well as their piranhas. Oh, oh there's some Croup Carnivore as well. What, what a bunch of lads. Not the meta choice, but we take it all the same. If you can make Croup work, you can make Croup work. Got Lehman Rust battle tanks on the way for Tiger Shark here. 
And this is where the Imperial Guard shine. Once they get their vehicles out, they're gonna do all right. I'm just very impressed by this great wall of orc. Ooh, that's a thumbnail idea. Oh, he's even got... I quite like that. The auto-pathing will, will bring the vehicles and infantry down here. And there's mines. Oh, he's a cunning fella. Is the orcs is. The universe overextending overextending, sadly. And lots, lots, lots of... Lots, lots of pink stuff. I like that. Gives me cherry plus... Uh, nope, how can I say that? Cherry Blossom vibes. But yeah, the Hellspawn's such, such a... Such a blooming nuisance. Very accurate, very high rate of fire. A lot of damage, but... It just makes you feel like you're under a lot of pressure. I mean, that Lehman Russ is going to stand there for quite some time. He says, I should, is it? No, it's not. Oh, no, the cast cast. I'm sorry, Lehman Russ. Forgive me. Oh, Demon Prince of Nurgle. He's going to lead a charge. We do have a shield generator... As well as some artillery from a sky ray missile gunship. So I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be a, an issue to get through this. There's not much in the way of orcs, but there's stuff. Not orcs, sorry, tout. But they've got the firepower for it. Over here we've got Oh, very that's one way to avoid the tank traps. Just fly well the mech traps, but just fly over them. I like it. Got some algae platforms. High damage. Super duper turrets, if you ask me. So these land speeds ain't going to do that much. I want to probably bring them over here and try and avoid all that. And there we go. The ah, Gork Resource Faction. That's what they're called. I do believe that every faction has got like a version of the Gork Resource Factory. I know the Imperial Guard. Have you started building yours yet? No, not... Oh, no, you have yet. You've got your Industrial Command. So if you want more blue money, it, the more you build, the more expensive they are. But definitely a good investment if you're planning to play the long game. Demon Prince of Nurgle, he was brave. But the towel just ain't been shifted. Good carnivores, they, they, bless them. They're like, I want to send the shield generator. I want to stay alive, but also I don't want to... I've got to go to close combat to deal with things. But the demon, blooming Matt 101, he's uh, looking a bit intimidating at the moment. He's got all those Inferno labs. So we can expect to see lots of greater demons fairly soonish. These land speeders are still in the base. Not sure about the effectiveness, but you know they've 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 tried their best. And lots more archer platforms, so there's just multiple layers of defense. We've got the mech traps, we've got the archer platforms, and we're just, just all to protect this little corner of good stuff. You can even say like like he like like strangers have got a settlement and he's upgraded it over here as well, so definitely multiple layers. Be very careful. If you want to take down his tech. Over here we've got what's going on. Oh, we've got blooming Vanguard veterans. They've come in. Popped on some minefields themselves. And they're looking to get rid of all of Stranger's early game stuff. As this is where he spawned. Lots of listing posts going for. And to be honest, Stranger's got very little in the way of an army at the moment. He's been focusing exclusively on building up all his bits and bobs. So only really... This section of the map is defensible. All of this is free real estate for the Space Marines to go into. Might need some support from the Telpa, although to be fair, just holding this area is probably his main stay of attack. Pink is going in for a little bit of a skirmish, but will be brown-breaded. No questions asked. Oh, it's got an arc defense to it, which, which just, just have a little look at it. It's, it's quite, I really like this model. They've got a little sentry drone in there. But they've also got... It's, it's just like... Gives me Halo vibes, this. Yeah, Halo vibes. I like it. It's good. Good stuff. Down on the side, Imperial Guard are pressing forward. We also have just Marauder Bombers. Gnome using the Air Force for this game, I reckon. Who's your ally, Gnome? Is it... Demons on, Demons on the bomb? Demons on the bomb. That's who's your one with, with Demi. Demi's building up his forces. Good lord, the frame rate for this. I do apologise. I should have probably put this on low quality graphics rather than medium. I just believed, man. I just believe, gosh darn it. The Vanguard's there coming in. We've got some burner boys trying to burn these guys. Got some more over here, but they're not feeling it. They like to watch, and we don't, we don't kink shame here. We will judge, like I always say. There's always judgement, but we don't shame. Vanguard veterans taking things out. 
Rhino Transport's doing their thing. Slugger Boy's not going to feel the, feel the vibe. We do have the Heavy Weapons teams as well. Well, the Heavy Weapons support team. More mobile variants of the two. And now they're going to be started cracking open the centre slag deposits. And just lots of Imperial Guardsmen ready to get involved. But multiple layered around, so you don't end up having a big AoE blast killing everything. Over here we have got Gnome coming in with the Lehman Russes over onto Matt's base. He's going to go for that tier 4. Which is technically tier 5 in old money. But with the amount of Demon Claw Obelisks, they should be able to defend this. So these are more, a more substantial fire, fighting force going on. I assume the Marauder Bombers came over and died as well. That is my thinking and suspicions. All these guys are going to come back home to defend the base. We've got assault stuff going on over here, I think. Or is that just buildings being built? I'm trying to use the mini-map and looking at all the sparkles to figure out what's going on. But multitasking as a, as a red-blooded Englishman is not a skill that I have. Rhino's going to use their superior maneuver ability to avoid those guys. A squad of looters, in fact, double looters and a Mega Armor knob squad to try and catch them on the move, but now they're just going to ignore them. And yeah, to be honest, on a, on a deceptively large map like this, maneuverability is probably king. If you can maneuver quicker, they would be fine, but oh no. Rhino goes down. And as strong as the Vanguard veterans are, with this many ouchy platforms about, they won't be living for long, so they're on limited time, so they're going to kill as many plasma generators as they can. They only need to kill a couple to do a lot of damage to the buildings around them. We get that chain reaction going on as well. They're really, really useful for them. But no, sadly, Vanguard veterans have been crumped good and proper, quick as you like. Down on this side, we do have the Great Warp Spawn. Just take a load of fire to the face. Imperial Guardsmen soaking up the damage as the Lehman Rust continues firing. Our fellow plasma generators, one has been taken down. In fact, the, the burp had taken down? Yeah, the burp had taken down, but for some reason the slag deposit building is still there. So it's just deceptive. But yeah, these buildings aren't despawning for a reason, I assume. Because the game is like, no thank you, there's too much stuff going on. I'm not playing with you. Oh dear, oh dear. Tag, uh, Blast Furnace, sorry. He's, um... Hey, he's pushed too far. All his, all his fighting force went up north to, to go take on Stranger. And then Demi thought, well, I haven't been involved in much so far. Let me get a Demon Prince of Corn on the go. So yeah, actually, yeah, it looks like two Demon players are working together, but no. Matt's trying to get rid of this Demon Prince of Corn. He jumps in, crumped a thing, he's gone home now. But Terminators and Nurgle things shaking him away. He's going to continue, so we've got Corn on the bottom, Nurgle on the left. Never Slanesh. I've seen Zinch, but I've never seen like a Slanesh majority army, but I suppose that makes sense. I mean, that it's very situational Slanesh. Definitely not a team game mega brawl kind of chaos god to go for. Much more 1v1 thing. And even in a 1v1, you normally go for Corn anyway. Siege over here is continuing. Mr. Storm Priest now got one friend. He's, oh, he's got a priest friend. Priest friend also works as a apothecary, which makes sense. Got a Lehman Rush with 36 health. Maybe we want to repair him. And Air... Ooh, I quite like this Air Shaker platforms. Lots of those guys. Impressive range. Lots of damage form as well. Got nonsense going on down here. The demons have had enough of no. And he's taking them on as best he can. I mean, lots of chaff. I quite like it. Peel Guard Conscripts. I mean, have you gone for the... In ah, look. I like that. He's gone for the... So basically, these guys are now more or less free, I think. Or if he's not gone for... That, I mean, they're practically free anyway. And he's just sending them into combat. Good Lord. This is... This is a sad day to be a Conscript. But that's what you get. For joining the guard. I know you can't consent to it. I know you've got kind of forced into it, but it's what you get all the same. And they've been rallied over here for some reason. That's fine. Oh, they're looking for that critical location, maybe. I don't know. We don't have a Bane Blade. In fact, double. Ooh, quite like this. Q can bring in both in. 
Oh, d never mind. It's brought three in, as well as all all the Lehman Rust tanks. Uh, all this stuff is about to go bye bye, unless it's got to do something about it. Gorks coming in over on this side. A soul grinder attempt to take on the Mega Armor knobs, but the Mega Armor knobs are just blooming tough cookies. The orc equivalent to a Terminator, more or less. There's a lot more fun. Got a Stingray Gunship over here. Trying to take on the masses of Terminators over here. They've got, they do have their banners. They quite like. Very artistic. But absolute mayhem and bedlam. Tau still chilling out over here near the shield generators. Just... If, if anything, they're just, they're just holding on. Waiting for that orc support to come in. Which, it is there. So can go into a system. We've got a deep strike beacon over on that side for deep striking reasons. Bringing the terminus closer. And good luck. It is this is just a scrap and a half. Who's fighting who at this point? Who really knows? That's what we like. Sol Grander trying to crump that Stingray missile gunship. And blooming, what is even that? Was that was that? Demon ability? Super weapon, maybe? The one where it makes them go all mad and attack each other? Maybe. Who knows? But people of God really taking a hold in this middle point here. Do have uh, Demi bringing some stuff over. So the sense is still not super secure, but double air shaker platforms certainly adding to stuff. More demon nonsense. Oh, is that what happens when every time a soul grana dies? I assume it does like AoE stuff. Either way, no one seems to care about it. They're still alive. And Matt and Blast looking to get those Mega Armor knobs. Like I say, lots of health on those guys. Will take a while to, to get them down, but that's fine. Just occupies them, allowing the Imperial Guards to come over here and just destroy everything. And with that, the sensor is now all Imperial. In theory. Do I have a, oh, what are you? You are a... What a, what a... What a ping! Which usually means that a super weapon's being built, but can't see one. So unless one of the teammates just pinged one of each other just for funsies, not sure. But what we got here, we've got a Storm Sword. A double Storm Swords, even. Lots of flames, lots of fire in the middle. Although as the team slow but surely start upgrading themselves to more vehicle-based compositions, these Bane Blades aren't going to be amazing. But they're doing the job for now. I see another one being drop-lifted in. And a bit of good lord, it's a Heldrake. Heldrake just firing away at that Storm Sword. Got another Storm Sword, fresh one being dropped in. And a Force Commander coming in over. What could the Force Commander do in this situation, though? Not entirely sure, but that's fine. Got some XV9 hazard suits. And yeah, Warmile is just thinking, you know what? Whatever's going in the middle, I don't want any part of it. Warmile's job is to stay alive. And provide some supporting fire for Stranger, I reckon. When he brings all his economy down to bear. Lots of artillery. Lots of nonsense. Storm Sword looks like he's been stuck in the middle. Oh, no, dear, oh, dear. He's just... <laughs> he's just basically a glorified tour at this point. Absolute scenes. Got Venable Dreadnought trying to cut up with the Storm Sword from the backside end. And do we have any, like, of these guys invading each other? No, there seems to be like a, a mutual truce, more or less. Yeah, that seems to be it. Everyone's just focusing on the centre at the moment. Do have Gnome's battalion of Lehman Russes manoeuvring over to Matt. Yeah, it seems like that Blast and Matt have had the lion's share of action for now, but Tiger and Kukin with their double Imperial Guard are now occupying the centre. Although all these land deposits, they've, they've had their generators killed. So, well done. Not going to turn their attention over yet, down south. Venable Dreadnought's been killed rather quick. What's killing you? Oh, here come the conscripts. That's okay. 
No, I didn't want a frame rate anyway. They're going to come over. Are they the most effective fighting force? No. But are they fun? Yes. Over on this side, we've got some defensive things coming over. And this is just a sea of knobs. My goodness, it's like Brighton Beach coming over. Slavering over everyone. It's just, oh my goodness. Big mech in there as well. Trying to get some zaps in. There's a fair bit of damage with his custom shooter. Also got the war boss in there. Aiming for those strongholds. Trying to bring them down in tech. In the centre. The relics being captured. It tends to be captured by the conscripts. Storm Sword. The ideal tank. For me. I mean just, just look at the corpses man. Look at the corpses. It's just. It's pandemonium. It's sadness. It's badness. Eldrick's still getting a few licks in as well. Barely any damage done to him. Look at the air effect damage it can do. So conscripts are definitely not. They are not on the cards. But Demi bringing out that Sonic Scorpion. Sonic Breast? Oh, sorry. A Greater Breast Scorpion. I do apologise. Wonderful model all the same. It's like a Desecrator, but bigger and meaner. More undivided, shall we say. No, so I've pushed all the way in, but we've got some Tau support. Oh, sorry, not Tau support. Oh, nah, never mind me. The Tau are not working with the Space Marines. The Tau are against the Space Marines. Forgetting the team structures already. But HQ looking worse for wear. Got some artillery coming in. Venable Dreadnoughts coming left and right. Does seem that the Orcs have just narrowly been beaten back, keeping that stronghold alive and well. Got one or two Mega Armor knobs here, but we've got Tech Marine repairing all that stuff. Hazard suit's been blown up, and once they're blown up, there's a little, little, little nuke. Not sure how much airway damage it does. But my question is, Storm Sword, how did you get inside? If you can't leave there, how did you get inside? Hmm? I don't know. Probably got deep struck in there by accident. Oh my goodness, it's blooming Angron. Angron's here. And he's armed. He's ready. He's causing some issues. So bring out your tissues. He's just going to crump as many of these buildings as humanly possible. And oh my goodness. That is just bonkers.com level of damage. So just when you think little, little, little Demi in the corner, you know, chilling. And just look at the... Can we, can we have a look at your economy, Demi? Yeah, he's, he's got Facebook money at the moment. And oh, and we've got the... Geez, <laughs> Jesus gnome bringing out all the Titan Assembly stuff. I assume with all these guys repairing, maybe there's some, like, nuclear figures going on down here. Who really knows? But, yeah, man, that is... That is a serious economy. And Angron is now just going to systematically take apart Matt one by one. Oh, a Titan Assembly Bay for a blast. But will he be able to get a Titan out before Angron just walks on over and starts dunking all over him? Might need to bring that Helldrake over. He's got no ranged attack, so he'll actually be powerless against that Helldrake. Down over on this side. Oh, yeah, Heldrick. No, no, yeah. Oh, we've got Beaver Titan. And now the people got to attend their attention to the Tau. The Tau will be able to defend for a little bit. The unnatural defensive faction also got a Gargan from Stranger. But. My goodness. The people got can't break through at the moment, but they do have the potential for it. Over here, Demon's just chilling out. Where's Angron gone? That's my question. Angron's over here. And that Reaver Titan's like, nope, I have got no melee. I don't want to be involved in that. He slowly turns himself around. Bright eyes. And, oh, dear, oh, dear. That's some sort. He's got nowhere to run. He's locked in combat. But Angron sees the Titan. And he's like, no, thank you. I don't want you here. Be gone, sweet summer child. And he's already back at full of Jeez, that's there. That's going to be a tough customer to deal with. Seems like no one's doing any damage to him, neither. And that Reaver Titan is about to fall apart. So it might be a concerted effort into killing the demons. Oh, I've got multiple Heldrakes here. Going up against all this stuff down, down on this side. Good lord, I do apologise for the frame rate. I know that if you guys are watching at home, I know that some of you like to watch on the TV... The, um, the frame rate is much more noticeable 
when you, the well with the biggest screen that you've got but oh it's just lots of stuff we've got so so titanicus good against titans and superstructures and angron he's like you know what stranger i've had enough of your orcish antics got venerable dreadnoughts coming in and what are you building you are building the great gargan that is quite a good gargan all being said no melee attack neither, but I mean, he's big. Tango's going to come over and see what he could do down over on this side. Probably go for the economy, I imagine. Don't know if you, oh, we've got nukes. We've got nukes. So Demi has been nuked. He's lost a lot of his warp signatures. But mind you, it, oh, actually, no, never mind. A lot of his green money, he doesn't have a massive flow of it, so. Huh. That might. Ruin his over. Good luck. How many? Stop. That's a lot of nukes. How many was that? That was like several. Impressive stuff. We do have the Imperial War Titan, the biggest Titan you can get uh, for the Imperial Guard. That's going to cause some very big problems. I mean, what? 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 What even are you guys at this point? Small, small little lads. Yeah, taking on absolutely everyone. We do have the Ion Cannon looking for those super weapons. But will it be able to survive long enough to be able to build all that up? Dov Angron, he's lost his shield. He's now taking direct damage. But can they get him? He is going to fly away. Much like the Broodlord for the Tyranids. Actually killing their main thing is... A very impossible task. It can be done, but it takes a lot. Going to see a quick cannon on the right-hand side for Imperial Warlord Titan. And what is it? What's the flirt situation? So we know that team. Hold on, right. So team three, yeah, your flirt's pretty good. Team four, your flirt is mega. Team one, you're doing all right. So yeah, actually, yeah, everyone's economy is super fine for now. We can just basically build as much as we want. Although, like I said, Demi has to worry about his um, green money income. As his flat for that isn't the absolute amazing. But Nerm is getting crumped. He's lost his main base. Dan, have you built up any... Oh, got, you have built up elsewhere. You, you've got your whole I mean, life down here. That's what I quite like to see. Also, double those of his heavily fortified defensive walls. Good lord, it's like the Great Wall of China versus the Great Wall of China on the north and south. Lots of artillery going on. There's Terminators down there. Huge explodey things. Shadow Swords coming in. Against the Tau. Hazard suits. Absolutely crumping those guys. Good and proper. Love to see it. Good. Ah, oh, my goodness. What even is this explosive stuff? Was that just more Imperial War? Like, who are these nukes? I don't know if they're nukes, but there's something. Doesn't look happy. Yeah, it's, it's these quake cannons, isn't it? So we've got Titan Assembly Bays. I assume we've got super weapons for all the teams being built up at the moment. That's going to be my assumption. Oh, but I mean, Angron's still about. He's got a shield back up. And the Imperial Guard are going to struggle with this. We do have a Death Strike missile launcher as well. Big old rocket. Probably doesn't want to fire it at Angron from this range. Unless he wants to be a true hero of the Imperium. These things have died. Probably Angron just turning up, just burns things. I was killing that Death Strike missile launcher. Yeah, the real big bad of this match so far. Even the Imperial Wall or Titan isn't getting through his armor all that quick. He's going to jump in. Give him a good old stabber. And the Warlord Titan won't be able to do anything against him in close combat. Now I've got a regular Gargan. Why well, put the Great Gargan? Oh, no, he's still there. He takes him a very, very long time to walk over. And he's all... <laughs> oh, dear. oh, poor Grotz. They're trying to repair him. And they died for their troubles. That's what you get, Grotz, for being little... If you want to be alive, you've got... Good... Jesus, hold on, wait a minute. That's that's, uh, that's a lot of wa 
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Walls. I like that. And lots of voucher platforms. Yeah, you're not getting through that anytime soon. Oh, Titan. Yeah, he's not a happy bunny. <laughs> I like it. Kogi says, what do we get first? I'm going to just quit the game. Yeah, pretty much. There's not much you can really do against him. It's a... Uh, I think it's a bit of a balancing issue for Angron and the Swarm Lord. Is that what is the counterplay, right? And in a lot of games like this, like you can have cool things, yeah? But no matter how cool something is, it's only cool if you're able to also not only use it in the game, but also play against it. You know, we, we all we all like going up against something really hard to kill and then figuring it out and then kill it. But um you know, there's not much. Oh, but Tao, what, what, what are you firing at? You're firing at something. Let me see if I can get a, a look. You see, the map's so big, I can't even get a look at the whole... I've got the um, the fog of war turned off and all the fog stuff stuff, and it's... Uh... No, the map's so big, I can't even look at the full entire map. Crazy. Really, Tao fired at something. But... Not sure what it was. We're still going for it. The Iron Cannon firing at large. And now we've got Heldrakes pressuring the Tau. Everyone said, no, but everyone's just giving up on the slags at this point. Oh, is that what the Iron Cannon's firing at? Just just his Heldrakes. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, cool. What's, that? What's this cluster down here? This is Warp Signature City. I'm going still chilling out. Still full health. Still full health, man. He's not bothered. A space bridge with an Imperium. Oh, sorry, an Imperial Reaver Titan. Upgrading themselves with a Mega Melter. Yeah, it's a combination of massive shield, massive health, and all the ability just to fly away the moment a sniff of trouble comes out. So you can't really punish him. Whereas it might be different if he could, like, jump once. Whereas, like, cooldown for the jump was, like, something stupid, like, 10 minutes. So once you've committed, that's it. He stays there. Now on this side, we are seeing the Imperial Guard pressuring Demi's base. Yeah, that's probably one way to do it. If you can't kill the main boy himself, then just kill the things. Well, that's a lot of Heldrakes. That's quite the flock. Gonna try and protect himself from... The Ogrins. Mad lads with the priests in there. Got some lost souls coming over for repairing, I imagine. Tau have managed to defend themselves, but Angron is now inside the base. And can they do anything? Interesting use of plasma generators. You don't normally see them being stacked up like this. Well, I suppose just for convenience of build. Oh, an XV-89 commander. I'd love to see if you were on fire. I'm going to take it a moment for peace. Doesn't seem to want to fight anyone at the moment. He's questioning his life, thinking, did I make the right choice in becoming a demon prince? Am I really happy? And only only Angron himself can answer that. Only he knows if he's truly happy with life at the moment. The Imperial Guard, they've been smashed up. Those Ogrins no longer alive. Warlord Titan now back out once again. And the little Diddy Reaver is coming over for firing as well. In this corner, we've got one single Lehman Rust tank. Demons chilling out for Demi. Not sure what their life choices are or what their mission parameters are. Greater Gargan looking to smash a lot of blast stuff. And I think he's killed most of it. The bill is just still here because we can't load anymore. We're, we're at max capacity. There's nothing else we can really do. I mean, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's not going away. Even if I zoom in, it's usually what happens. Good lord. Demi is just bringing in the fire. It's got a lot of stuff going on. And even a Titan can't hold up. Against all this, but we've still got some Lehman Rust executioners in the ranks as well. A couple of Heldrakes have been 
take it down, but still plenty more to come for. Tao Ho managed to defend themselves. As where is Angron? Oh, he's in the wall of tire, and he thinks, right, go for the back of the knees. That's where he's weakest. Get him in the joints. And poor Warlord Titan, he's meant to be the most mightiest thing, or at least one of the most mightiest things in the Imperial roster, but not being felled by an angry boy with a sword. Great Gargan. Two go for a little bit. He's just relaxing. He's not too bothered, bless him. <laughs> You can just say, just shoot, there we go. That's what you want. He's gonna die, so may as well make the most out of him. Let's kill a fair few Heldricks. But, going to bed on the floor. Shoulders down, that's where a real man sleeps. None of this fetal positioning or spooning. Angron's still running amok inside the base. Eldrex over here, polishing off the remainders of um, Blast's base. Got Matt as well in the corner. Just looking a little bit worse for wear. Repair the guys struggling at the moment. Yeah, it might be different if they uh, blooming uh, got their big wall of Titan out and killed all those Rather than trying to run away from Angron. Like, like you said, he was going to die anyway. Won't have done much about Angron, but we've at least killed all this blooming stuff here. All of this stuff. Greater Gargan. Walking through the corpses of Tiger Shark's base. All of this stuff is dead, I imagine. Nightmare Gateway, what are you? Well, you're something. And you're about to be dead. There's stuff going on down here. By the talk in there, apparently someone's been nuked. So I imagine it was down over here. That's why things are being repaired. Let's see an Imperial Warlord Titan. Can you get it out there, No, That's the question. Can the Titan physically walk out of the narrow chirp points you made for yourself? Another Warlord Titan going down. And who died? Well, I, I could do this to find out. Is it you? No, 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 no. It is... Tiger Shark, he's dead. He is brown bread, good and proper. So Demi is also... It's not Demi, sorry. Matt has also decided to probably peace out A-Town. So one team down. By the power of the Great Gargan. It does look like we've got some... Co-opting going on here. If these guys hold the demons back for just a little while... That maybe this great gargant can come in and do some good stuff. All they need is to kill all the recruitment buildings. And, I mean, they've got a fair few. But it won't take long for a gargant to get through them. And Angron is but one model. I suppose that's their one weakness, is that. Unlike a warlord tank that could fire and support a whole firing line and army in a firefight, Angron is really just a singular damage he goes up to one person and kills one thing at a time. He does it very quick, but only, like I say, one thing at a time. Also got Blimey Nell, what's all this? We've got more nuclear bombs on the way. Where that's coming, I don't know. Big wah being activated somewhere. Increasing the movement speed of all orc infantry. Oh, it's got a Bastus, Bastus Magnus. It's quite cool. Long range. It's a lot of damage to basically anything. But can it fire against Angron in close combat? I don't think so. Although realistically, you could just... Oh, good lord. Where are all these nukes coming from? Getting him quite quick there. No, he's dead. Absolute madness. Got a Tau now moving in. Murdering the Reaver Titan. Pretty quickly. Eldrex firing down. Uh, 
The Imperial Guard have got very little in the way of stuff left. The centre used to have lots of things going for it. And now it's just a apocalyptic wasteland of nothing. Double Great Gargants now, actually. The Imperial Guard, as Kukin said, very little left. Oh my goodness, just nukes. It's been thrown down casually. So it does look like it's going to be a battle of North versus South. We've got the demons. I've still got the Imperial Guard down here chilling out. With all their economy. Bringing out their Warlord Titan. So North versus South. I am applicable to North just because that's... That's, that's just the Englishman inside me. But I mean, Angron, that, that's a tough customer. Not sure how Stranger and... Sorry, what's the... Uh, Tower player called. Warm all is gonna do. It's got his Titan assembly bit. Have you got any big Titans out, Mr. Mr. Warble? No, but one Imperial Guard player has dropped. So now it's an epic battle between North Fest and South. Ah, it's got a turn. Oh, here comes the nukes. There's one way to kill Angron. It's with a thousand nukes, and actually, it's the lowest health he's been so far. But even with that many nukes. He is still just there. And he's going to regen that health. No problem at all. Great Gargant will try and fire at him. I think it's too close. I don't think he can fire at him, but... He's going to run away. Coward. Well, I should be able to provide some good fire support. Might be an idea just to focus on the warp gates rather than Angron himself. Like I say, kill all the production buildings. They should be all right. But Demi then decides to... To leave? Question mark? I can't read German, but I assume that's what that means. So, that's interesting. That's a bit... Dare I say, maybe anticlimactic, but... We've still got the Wallet Titan. He's still about. Firing away. I don't know what we could do against two Gargants, but... Yeah, Demi has dropped, so now it's just basically a one versus two. Yeah, all this stuff is it's not, not real. It's all fake. Well, that's alright. A gnome could do it. He's got the Titan. I mean, yeah, there's nukes incoming, but... Good lord. Oh my goodness, that, that is, that is uh, one volley of nukes brings on a wall of time to half. Core blimey. Towers are going to come in for some firing support as well. War boss waddling down. A very structurally unsound unit. Oh right, wall of time, just shush, right? Let me go to some... Oh no, we've still got one Imperial Guard player. Tiger Shark, where are you? Ah, oh, you juicy. You're hiding in the corner. You're still playing like that's what I like about Tiger Shark. Never gives up. He's always in there for the good times and the bad. Can't hold a man like him down. Not for long. He's always on the up and up. Even, even if the chances are slim, gosh darn it. Faith in the Emperor. That's what you need. He's got one mecha mechanized command, one infantry command. He's still taking up into tier two or old money tier three. And the chance, you know, he might be able to do it. All you need is faith. These guys probably have no idea where everyone else is. Just looking for the bases, not realising that they're built up in the corners. So here's a game of cat and mouse. Do I have one? Demon Russ over here. Oh, the blast, you're still in the game. Right, okay, fair enough. Got a force commander. Does not seem like you're doing much, though. Where have you just gone AFK? Oh, no, he's not going AFK, he's got his servitors out. Might be a time to forge an alliance. To become friends. If all you've got left is just a small smattering of units, may as well come together for the greater good. Tao trying to find the remaining opponents. But nothing left. I'm, I'm going to fast forward. Ooh, who died? Was that? Oh, it was a pale guy in the They gave up. They didn't want it. They thought, nope, not for us. 
Why not cockroaching in this game? And you got to respect that. So now it's just the Imperial City of Orc Kingdom Land. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's how I imagine an Orc base would actually look like IRL. A little tower base and just two guys left. Let's fast forward a smidge. Just so I could see going on here. Ah, new King last base. And Tiger Shock, he's like, right, I can't win the main battle, but I can at least kill one of a player. Good lord. nuke has been thrown in. And the Orcs also, oh, they're dropping off hazard suits. I quite like that. A very efficient way to transport your suits about. So, Blast has been deaded. Tiger shot using the last. Of, uh, Tiger, have you have you built a, a bane blade off the back of your? What is your economy, young man? That's crazy. Even though he's like out and out, he's still got quite a lot of money. Not bad, man. Not bad. So one v two. Against the horrors of the Xenos, can the Imperial Guard at least have a wonderful last stand? They're building up more storm blades. We've also got one squad of Cascans. Or, or Carsicans, even. Maneuvering around the battlefield. Look and see if they can cap more bits and bobs. Maybe if they stay hidden for long enough, they should be alright. But nuclear bombers patrolling the area. The sniffing out wherever the resistance is. And they have found it, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. It was a good effort, Target. It's a very good effort. Oh, Jesus. Yep, Orc nukes, man. They don't mess around. And I've only got a Mars pattern command left. But he's still going to give it a go, though. Gosh darn it. Summoning the last of the... Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. A little sunshine to end the match. So, a little bit anticlimactic, but I, I would say that was a lot of action all the way through. Lot, lots to think about and chew upon, really, because that was a... I would say an interesting match. I would love to hear people's opinions in the uh, comments below about things like anger on it, about things like uh, the counter play and the what what would you do in that kind of situation. If you was up against anger on, what kind of build odds would you go for if you were anticipating him on the incoming? What would your plan be? All the good stuff. But a very exciting game all the way through, as always with these Ultimate Apocalypse, Apocalypse games. So thank you, Tiger and Stranger, for sending this game in. Both of those guys individually sent me this this replay so i just had to do it just because it's the first time that's ever happened so yeah cool if you want to support the channel have a look at the old patreon one pound a month gets you one extra game a week and there is also a discord where discord things happen my name is mr Landshark. pleasure as always never chop and i will see you in a bit peace